Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited to be here with you today. My name is April for all of those of you who are new here. Today's video is the update for Pandas Eyeshadows 2022. I do have a shadow or two rolling out this month. And that's my loose goal for this project. I do try to roll out at least one shadow every month. Let's get started. My last update was at the beginning of April. So it was actually two months ago. But in that time, uh-oh, now I can't reach my first palette. All right, now we have it. In that time, the first shadow that we're going to talk about is um, Tati Memory. This has been in my project. It's this black down here. This has been in my project the longest, and it is finally rolling out. It doesn't have any pan, but if you haven't watched my Pan That Palette update, I have used this shadow so many times. I have about 50 uses on this shadow for this year, and it, it has a dip, but still no pan. My rules for this project is 30 uses or pan, so it is going to come out, um, and I am going to replace it with something else. So sad. <laughs> it's a pan. I've been wanting to pan on this palette for the whole year. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, man. I just threw stuff in the floor I didn't mean to do. Natasha Denona bronze palette in the shade this it's the shade here let's check out the mirror i think we're okay um let's see how many uses did i have i had nine okay sorry i left off last month at nine uses i used it three more times so now i am at 12 this this one's also been in for a really long time, but I'm kind of glad it's still in. Um, I feel like now is the season where I really start to enjoy these types of colors. So there's just the last little bit of use that I need to get on it. Um, I will enjoy. Um, this palette is a 2020 palette for me. And so I have my palettes grouped and then I have 2020 and newer. Um, I'm actually going to change the usage goals on this whole category, 2020 and newer, to only 15 because these shadows for me aren't so much about trying to get them out or like use them up or even uh, have a pan, but I really just want to get to know them and like have them so I can gradually, or not gradually, um, oh I cannot think of the word I'm looking for, but not genuinely. I just want to get to know them so I can kind of naturally reach for them. What's the word I'm looking for? It starts with a G, I think. Okay, next up we have MAC Joy de Blitz. Last update, I had five uses. It's the one up here in the corner. So last update I had five uses. I used it one more time, so now I'm at six. I did finally figure out how to make this um, work everyday wearable in the last update, I figured that out, but then I just kind of forgot about it. So this actually will be a super easy everyday look for me in the summer. Um, I'm gonna make myself a note. I actually put this in my travel bag um, and just kind of depot, or not depot, but pop this one out and put it in my travel palette that I'm gonna make for the summer. And yeah, because this will be a super easy look. <clears throat> And it'll really go with the greens that are so hot right now. That kind of just olive army green. I'm, I'm digging it. Are you guys digging the olive army green? I don't know. Like I, I told my husband the other day, I was like, I just want my whole life to be that color for some reason. I have no idea why. I don't even like particularly love that color. <laughs> but I do right now. Um, okay, next I have this shade from Ingla. And it is AMC 72. It's in my Z palette with a bunch of different brands. All of these larger ones here are Ingla. This is Ingla AMC 72. It actually may be discontinued. I only had one use at last update um, and I might be confusing myself here but I have used it four more times since then so now I'm at five. I really like the shadow. It's really pretty, very versatile. I've used it both as like a blending shade for a darker looks or a mid-tone shade for a lighter look. So the formula is kind of just spot on. It, it blends very, very well. It has just the right amount of pigment. Um, you can build it up or, or wear it more sheer. I just really like this one. So this actually might be another one for my travel palette. As I'm saying that, I might just take all the pan that palettes that, or the pan those eyeshadows that pop out. Maybe they'll be in my, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Finally, that leaves me with the white chocolate from Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It's this guy up here. And that one was super simple for me to use. I just used it every day. We're talking about two months here. I hit my 30 um, uses and then I just quit counting. 
as you would expect from a shadow this large and from Too Faced, there's not any pan. But I did hit goals and that's exciting too. And I actually, because this palette was out, um, I realized that this is kind of a nice companion to go with my pan. That palette, um, some of these shades like uh, Salted Caramel is very, very similar to Ritual. So it, it performs as like a blending shade that I was looking for. And then White Chocolate kind of... Um, looks like the other one, Soothe. I don't remember. I don't remember. It looks like the dark brown in that palette. And um, once again, a blending shade because that palette is missing transitions. It drives me crazy. Um, that leaves me needing to replace Tati Memory and the Too Faced White Chocolate palette. I have all my palettes, like I mentioned, they're sorted by year for this project. So I always pick a palette from the year of the shadow rolling out. For example, the Tati is from 2019. So I'm actually going to pick, Tati was a bad example, Too Faced is 2016. So I'm going to pick a 2016 palette and then the Tati palette is 2019. So I'm going to pick a 2019 palette, but I also want to add in another shadow. I want to add in for the... The remainder of this project for the year, I want to make sure that I have one shadow from my Tati palette, my Pan That palette for the rest of the year. So I'm actually, not to be too confusing, I'm going to add in a 2019 shadow and another shadow from the Tati palette. I just need to be getting as much usage as possible and I just, I don't know. I just feel like, this just feels like the thing to do. Um, so I'm going to be rolling in three shadows actually for this time. So for 2016, I picked palette number five, which is my Kat Von D or KVD. It's still Kat Von D because this is old. Um, shade and light palette. And then I picked shade five. So I counted one, two, three, four, five. And this is the shade Lazarus. Um, it's a pretty easy shade for me to work on but it's more of a wintery shade for me it's kind of cool tone so i'm sure that i'll get to it i'm sure it won't it will eventually be an easy shade for me to work on i might find a way to use it this summer but we might not see this again for a while <laughs> maybe i don't know we'll see and then for the tati palette i am excluding the glitters so i did numbers one through 18 and i did like one two three four five six seven eight nine and i got number 18. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I got Poet Matte. Um, I've been kind of wanting to work on that one a little bit. I don't love it as much as, I don't know. Let me just save my thoughts. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah. And then I rolled again and I actually got palette number 8 in my 2019 category and that's the Tati palette. I kind of struggled with this just for, I kind of struggled with this just for a minute and I thought, you know, maybe I should just take it out. This is really just kind of unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure if I should leave it in or skip it. And then, you know, I had this happen to me last year with the Juvia's Place palette. I just kept random number generating it in, in like every project, um, you know, and I think it just happens. So I'm going to leave it in. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not like it really matters that much. <sighs> and maybe it will help me to get more pans on it. So I did random number generate shade nine. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is story matte. And that's actually a really good shade for me to work on um, during the summer. This palette to me, the majority of the palette, all of this here in the middle is pretty much summery for me. Um, this is kind of spring spring, summer, even a little bit fall, and then this is kind of wintery for me. So that's just uh, the way this palette kind of, I, I see this palette for myself and my own usage. Anyways, so this will be, a, this will be good. I, I have a good selection here. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking out the update, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!